你好 ，Welcome to Ask Candy. In this video, our topic is Chinese tones. I'm going to answer four questions. Question number one: Is it a must to speak with perfect tones? My answer may be different from what you think. Question number two: How to make yourself understood even if you speak with the wrong tones? So I'm going to share with you my trick to make yourself understood. Question number three: How do native Chinese learn tones? If you are curious about that, keep on watching. Question number four: Is it possible for someone who is tone deaf to learn Chinese? If you are tone deaf, you definitely need to watch this video. So let me ask you a question first: Are you worried about speaking with the wrong tones, which makes you diffident, or even, or even like dare not to speak Chinese? Probably your answer is yes, because I heard a lot from my students. But the thing is, why are you so worried about that? Maybe because your Chinese teacher or friends told you that you wouldn't be understood, or even it would be a laughing stock if you speak with the wrong tones, right? Talking about a laughing stock, let's start with a joke about wrong tones. So the situation is: one guy who was learning Chinese asked about the price of boiled dumplings in a Chinese restaurant. He was talking to he was talking to a waitress. So what he should have said is this one, 小姐，水饺一碗多少钱？ So 小姐 is miss, 水饺 is boiled dumplings. 一碗 is one bowl. 多少钱 is how much. So that's the correct thing. But he spoke with the wrong tones. He said in this way, 小姐，水饺一碗多少钱？ He becomes miss sleep. Sleep is a shui jiao with you one night. How much? <laughs> Terrible, right? What he got was a slam in his face. So, there are lots of jokes about these things. Are those jokes true? Actually, I don't believe it because he's talking in a Chinese restaurant. For sure, in that under that context, the waitress would understand a little bit. And he was a foreigner. And then the thing is, right now I'm going to answer this question: Is it a must to speak with perfect tones? My answer is not really, not really. Why? So the important thing is, how do I reason that why? Point one: Lots of native Chinese speak with an accent, wrong tones, but we can roughly understand each other because Chinese is a contextual language. How to understand this point? Let me give you an example. So, yu yu is a fish. Yu is rain. If you are a beginner, you are going to say, "Oh my God! How can I remember these? I can remember the spelling, and I can tell the spellings are the same, but I can never remember the tones, right?" But the thing is, you are adult. You are not talking like a a child or a baby. You won't just say fish or rain. Like in English, you won't do that. In Chinese, the same. You are going to talk in sentences. For example, you say this sentence is about this sentence is about fish. I want to buy fish. That would be, 我要买鱼。我要买鱼。Suppose you speak with the wrong tone. With the wrong tone, you make 我要买鱼。Would that be understood? I think you would because first, it's impossible for you to buy rain. Right. Second, if you're in a fish market, you're talking about buying fish for sure, or in a supermarket, you can buy fish. That's one example about fish. And then let's see rain. So rain, you won't just say rain, right? You're going to say it's raining. At least you say it's raining. It's raining in Chinese is 下雨了，下雨了。So 下 is down. So here is falling down. 雨 is rain. If you speak with a wrong tone. So you make 下雨了，下雨了 Would that be understood? I think it would, because it's impossible for you to see fish falling down from the sky, right? <laughs> okay, let's move on. Point two: Over eighty percent of tones are wrong in Chinese songs, but native Chinese understand most of the lyrics. Let me give you an example. So this one. So. 祝你生日快乐，祝你生日快乐。I think you know what I'm saying, right? And <laughs> what I'm singing. So the correct way to say that, like, say that would be 
祝你生日快乐。So the tones are here. 祝 fourth tone. 你 third tone. 生 first tone. 日 fourth tone. 快乐 fourth tone fourth tone. But when we are singing, when we are singing, the tones are almost all wrong. Let's see. So do that, like singing, right? So 祝祝你生日。快乐 See, only sheng goes with the correct tone. The rest are all wrong. But can Chinese understand that? For sure, we are going to understand that. For sure. So that is the important thing: context, context. So here I answer that question and answer the second question: How to make yourself understood even if you speak with the wrong tones? Remember this. So this this point is really important. Chinese is a contextual language. What does that mean? If you give enough context, people can understand you, even if you speak with the wrong tones. So, point one. So solution one is, it's more important to speak in phrases or short sentences fluently instead of trying to say every vocabulary with the perfect tones. So here I highlight fluently. Why? People are not that patient. They won't wait for you until you think, uh, 你呃好 You won't talk in this way. So it's more important for you to speak in speak in phrases fluently or like short sentences fluently. And then this one is. Ah, this point. <laughs> The solution two is write or type characters to show to native Chinese. Right, right now we don't write that much. We type and show, right? Type. But this solution is for like intermediate or advanced learners. Talking about native Chinese, let's see this question. Question number three: How do native Chinese learn tones? Are you curious about that? Let's see it. So let's. I made them into two points. Point one is native Chinese children. Point two is native Chinese adults. As you see, point one. Native Chinese children have never learned tones before they go to school. For example, my son, he is right now four years old. He has never learned tones. <laughs> he has never learned pinyin. <laughs> pinyin. He has never learned tones, but he speak Mandarin well. And why? He did, and he has been doing all, all the time is listening practice, listening, listening, and remember those things he hear. Point two, native native Chinese adults don't remember tones, but the whole pronunciation for each character or syllable. For this point, you can ask, like a Chinese friend or even your Chinese teacher, what is the tone of, for example, what is the tone of you, you, like 你 So first thing in Chinese, in native Chinese mind is 你 and then he need he or she needs to repeat it 你 Okay, third tone. Pay attention to the sequence. First, in native Chinese mind, is the whole pronunciation. Then they repeat it and tell you the tone. So the thing is, what can we learn from these? So point one to is do more listening practice. Do more listening practice like Chinese children. And point two is try to remember the whole pronunciation of a syllable instead of spelling plus tone would be more helpful. Remember these two solutions. So th these two would be really helpful for you to remember pinyin, remember the pronunciation, remember all those things like when you are trying to speak. Point、uh, question number four: Is it possible for someone who is tone deaf to learn Chinese? My answer is yes, and my reasons for my reasons. I think you already know my reasons. So, may I ask you a question? Do you want to be a TV presenter in China or speak understandable Chinese? If your choice is option two, please don't worry about tones that much. Don't make it too hard on yourself, and be confident to open your mouth and speak more Mandarin Chinese. Thank you for watching. 再见